Okay, what's up guys? Jerry Campisi here. Today we are in Bay Club, Singalita, and I'm gonna be taking you through a typical push workout. Um, when I go through YouTube channels, I see a lot of um, chest day training, shoulder day training, arm day training. That's all great, but in my opinion, it, um, it's, it's like hard to take that and how do I put that into my workout split? And um, training one day a week isn't necessarily the most efficient way to train. And so what I wanna do is show you guys a typical push-pull leg split. Today is gonna be a push day and I'm gonna show you how I go through my push days and how I've structured my push days so that I can hit all my body parts twice a week, maximize the amount of gains that I'm making and be efficient in the gym. So today is a push day, let's get started. So in case you don't know, Push day means we're working all of our pushing move muscles and um, so basically chest, shoulders, triceps. The reason it's such a great way to train is anytime we're doing chest presses, we're using our chest, our front shoulder, and our tricep. Shoulder movements are always going to be using shoulders along with triceps. So by the time we get to our triceps, we don't need that many exercises to finish them off and basically it's a really efficient way to train. So for my push days, the way I have it structured is I do chest first, then my shoulders, and then finish off my triceps. We're going to start off with a chest incline dumbbell press. I have issues with my shoulders, so I stay away from the bench press and it seems to help them. Um, and so we're going to start off with incline. I basically hit all incline, I'm going to, and that's because I'm trying to work on my upper chest. In my opinion, no one really needs to work on their lower chest. That's just me. So I, I structure all my training around hitting my upper chest. So I'm um, starting off with some incline dumbbell bench press. Let's get started. to heavy sets, I would like to do one to two sets of warm up and then a couple of sets of uh, heavier weights. And you know, how many sets you do varies based on whatever works for you. I like two to three sets of hard working sets. Um, inclines at a, about a 45 degree angle, sometimes I'll go higher, sometimes I'll go lower, all depends, everything works. So this is my heavy work, one of my heavy working sets. <laughs> Second exercise for today is an incline Smith machine press. And um, this is one of my favorites because you can really get a good squeeze. Set up the bench so that it's about 45 degree angle, sometimes a little higher, whatever you want. Sometimes I'll adjust it as I go. And then you want it so that the bench is coming down right about para or right about the center of your chest, maybe towards uh, your nipple would be fine too. And so what we're gonna do is one warm-up set, make sure the chest is good and solid warmed up, and then three hard working sets. So here we go. training your chest <clears throat> and a lot of the reason some people people don't get growth in their chest is because pushing movements um, don't technically activate your chest your chest is activated by pulling across you can see it actually moving when I do that so when you are doing pushing movements you kind of have to like pull the weight up if that makes sense like flex your chest to push the weight and if that means you got to back down your weight a little bit then that's what you have to do um, but you really got to focus and get your mind inside of the chest and that's how you get your chest to grow. So here we go. So 
last thing we're going to do to finish off the chest today is a superset. It's going to be dumbbell flies, superset with dumbbell pullovers. Probably just two to three sets of this since it's a pretty intense superset. Let's get started. So that superset guys, after those first pressing movements, one of the best pumps I ever have in my chest. And you can see, we haven't even done shoulders yet. I already have a pump in my shoulders and my triceps. So now, chest is good. We're gonna move on to shoulders. Start off with shoulder press. Here we go. So moving on to sh overhead shoulder press with the dumbbells. This is the mass builder for the shoulders. So this is where we wanna go as heavy as we possibly can and just get after it. So after a warm up set, I'm gonna aim for probably three sets of 10 to 12 and just going heavy as possible. So here we go. there who thinks you get bulky when you lift Christina Khalil she's been training with me for months years you can go two years, two years. and she's 115 pounds so you can do these ex these exact same workouts can be done by anyone at any fitness level any age any gender Yeah. So our final working set on shoulders. And I just wanna say, the one thing I see people screwing up the most in the gym is workout intensity. If you want your body to grow, you have to overload the muscle, which either means more reps than you did before, or more weight than you did before, or supersets, drop sets, things like that. So if you're staying the same, up your intensity in the gym. That doesn't mean we sacrifice form though. Here we go. pushing exercises we have a pretty solid pump in the shoulders um, but the shoulder is a three-headed muscle which means front middle back so now we're gonna hit a little bit more of the middle head and it'll probably be front and a little bit of the back too with some lateral raises so here we go training guys after your compound heavy movements 
I like to pick up the pace and also increase the reps. So instead of like eight to 10 range on everything, I'm going 12 to 15 with basically whatever rest my partner has. So 30 seconds to a minute on these. So here we go. So finishing off our shoulders with rear delts for the backside, and uh, same deal with these controlled weight. Lower your weights down, high reps, get a good squeeze, low rest. So here we go. So, I can barely hold my arms up after that shoulder session. So now, we're gonna finish off triceps, which are already screaming. We're gonna do a push down, simple cable push down. Um, heavy, three sets, 10 to 12. And then we're gonna do some dips. So stick with me. lady in there. So things we're focusing on, getting a full stretch all the way up, keeping the elbows in place. Shouldn't be moving. Elbows should not be moving. And then squeezing. No, it's good. Yours is good. And then squeezing it at the bottom. Good. All the way up, squeezing it at the bottom. Perfect. So the last thing we're gonna to do today, maybe, is dips. And what we wanna do is just three sets, as many as we can possibly do. Your rest will be either 30 seconds or whatever your partner does. If you can't do dips at the end of a workout, I put them last because I can do too many otherwise, and I don't like to do weighted dips because it gets into some <laughs> stuff down there. And um, I'll show you if you can't do dips, uh, what Christina's gonna do, which is a variation um, that you can do if you can't do dips. So here we go. So this is the machine you'll find in your gym. If you can't do dips, you just add weight. That's the amount of weight it takes off. And then it helps you get more into that uh, rep range that you need to hit. The great thing about dips at the end is it's hitting all the muscles that we just trained. Chest, shoulders, triceps. If you lean a little bit more forward, it uses your chest. If you stay a little bit more upright, it'll hit more triceps. Amazing exercise. Good job. <laughs> so there you go guys. That is push day of my push-pull leg split. I'll be filming the, other, the rest of the videos so that you guys can have a nice solid foundation of a workout split that you can actually take with you to the gym and do yourself. I'm gonna put the entire workout in the description below along with um, 
rest ranges, exercises, reps, all that kind of stuff. So you guys can do this for yourself, follow right along with it. Um, the great thing about this, ex this workout is you hit everything twice a week. So if you have a bad day or whatever, you get to come back to that body part a second time in the week and hit it again. And so I'll show you a little bit what it looks like. This is the split I've been following for about just a few months now. And I've seen a lot of gains. What, a couple months? It's like half a year. Okay, for a while. <laughs> you can vary this up. So, you know, this is just a basic programming. You can vary this up, add in drop sets, supersets, or, you know, different exercises, all that kind of stuff. So this is what it looks like with a pump right now after, like I said, chest, shoulder, tricep. The other great thing about it is it's great for posing afterwards because you pump the whole front of your body up basically. So you look great for pictures, photos, that kind of thing. And we're actually gonna go take some right now. So I hope this is helpful for you guys. This is ridiculous lighting in here. Um, I hope this is helpful for you guys. Please uh, hit that subscribe button if it is. Leave comments below if you wanna see anything specific if you want me to go more into detail on any one of these exercises, etc., And um, hit that like button, that helps me out. And hit a, give, a, give a thumbs up for Christina for the filming. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, hope you guys enjoy. Catch you in the next one. Stay jacked. It's crazy sometimes thinking you can own a piece of the world. It's just floating.